Food Battle 2013! He was the underdog everyone was rooting for. He took on the dinner roll quadruplets and shocked the world. Decimated the European champion. Annihilated a happy family of bananas that were just in the crowd. He kicked the living shit out of the fried turkey leg. Fuck no he didn't. I would f his dumb ass up. True. Sorry. F yeah, you sorry. He fought the antimatter version of himself and they were both lost in a wormhole for 45 days. And finally he took on the grand champion of all breaded treats, the cinnamon roll. And murdered the living shit out of him. Like big time. He was a grand champion of all snack food ever. He had overcome the odds. Until the pink donut turned him in for being jacked up on steroids and he went to jail for 25 years. Vote for the pretzel so he can find the pink frosted sprinkle donut and break his sissy neck into itty bitty pieces. They call me corn. They call me cow. Pink donut came and margarita round. He took my house. He took my dog. He took my cow and made it middle frog. And now my milk, it tastes so great. And now I'm living in a box beside a stream. I hate you, pink donut. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I want you to suck on a barrel of a shotgun when I come for you. Come on. I hate you, pink donut. Don't know what I'm gonna do. I want you to suck on a barrel of a shotgun when I come for you. Come he took my heart. He took my brain. He took my seat. That is driving me insane. insane. Now she's gone. No point to be alive. So I guess I'll go and go and go and die. So I guess I'll go and go and go and die. So I guess I'll go and go and go and die. Well, seems like Corn Cobb's looking to kill himself. Don't want blood on your hands, do you? Give him a vote. It was the end of the line for Hot Dog Wiener. Goodbye, cruel world. Ever since he was a child, he'd been different. Just go talk to her, Wiener. Sure thing, best friend. <laughs> hey, everyone. Wiener looks like a penis. <laughs> and it only got worse as he got older and tried to run from his problems. You got the best scores on all the important tests. Thank you, sir. But none of that matters, son. You look like a goddamn penis. You make me sick. When it got too much, he gave up. You look like a penis. I know. Wiener, is that you? English muffin? What are you doing? I'm tired of being told I look like a penis all the time. What if I told you I've always loved you and I know a place where that scene is an asset? And now, he has a chance to dance with the biggest crew of male strippers in the world. Let's see what you got, kid. I call this piece... Redemption. Stop. I've seen enough. But I didn't even get a chance to show you my stuff. I saw all I needed to see. It'll never work. Cause you look like a penis. <laughs> You're such an idiot. I can't believe you thought I ever really loved you. You disgusting penis. You're gonna pay for this, Pink Donut! I'm gonna get you back somehow and ruin your life like you ruined mine! <laughs> Vote for Hot Dog Wiener <laughs> so he can get revenge and stop feeling like such a penis all the time! <laughs> I don't look like a penis! <laughs> right. Right, sure thing, dude. <laughs> he looks like a penis! <laughs> Welcome back to Psychic Talk with your host, Benji Banana! An eerie mystic. Mama Lola. Hey there, folks. Welcome back to Psychic Talk, where we take your calls and Mama Lola here tells your future or whatever. Ooh, I sense you're feeling down about something, man. Can we cut the sh? Just take the first call. Fine, Mr. Mean Pants. Hey there, Mama Lola. I just wanted to say that I'm your biggest fan. I already knew that. What is your question? I want to know why the banana wasn't in the food battle last year. Yeah, what happened, man? Why are you such a loser? I didn't get in because the stupid fans didn't vote for me, and then I lost my show, and my wife, and my family, and now I'm a sad-ass drunk who hosts a piece of shit fake psychic show. Wait a minute, you're drunk? Uh, no. That's okay, though. Not everyone can be as cool and badass as the pink D-nut. I guess you're just... 
Yellow. Did you just call me yellow? I think she did, man. Well, what are you gonna do about it? This I bet you didn't see this coming. Actually, I did. Let's see who's yellow now. No! No! I'm coming for you, Donut. You hear me? And this time it's for fucking blood. Fucking blood! Vote for Banana. Because this time he's coming for blood. Fucking blood. We always thought the attack would come from outer space. But we were wrong. It was the worms. The goddamn dummy worms. Our cities were overrun, so we had to turn to our greatest villain to save us. Die, you gummy pieces of sh! Die, 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 gummies, die! We thought it was over. Die, 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 die gummy worms! We thought it was over. But we never counted on. They're pissed off, mother. They destroyed China. In Europe. Now it's coming to America to settle the score with the donut that killed its whole family. Go for the giant gummy snake and give it the chance to avenge its dead children. Is this you? The pink donut hit me with the bus. Ah. Or this? So, the pink donut threw me off a plane three months ago and didn't come back. Thank God I had my trusty parachute. Oh God! Oh, heaven forbid, this. That mother pink donut got me all knocked up and shit and left my ass. Oh yeah. Ooh, right there. Ugh. The pink donut has ever done you wrong, I can help. The law office of Fried Pickle & Co. specializes in pink donut related offense. You gotta call on line one. I'm making a commercial. She said it was life or death. Fine, put it through. Is this that fried pickle lawyer fella? Yes, ma'am. I wanna sue that pink little sh** for a million trillion mobillion dollars. I'll take the case. What did he do to you? He's guilty of being... Too freaking handsome! How dare you come to my office? This is where I hot tub and stuff. It's time to pay the piper, pickle. I'll get justice or die trying. The law offices of Fried Pickle & Co. We sue the shit out of people. Especially from donuts. Once upon a Christmas time, there lived a family of candy canes. And this Christmas was very special, because their oldest son, Milo, was finally getting called upon to fly with Santa. Oh my god, Milo, they finally called you! Whatever, Mom, I don't want to go. You just have to. You're the only man around here since your father died. Pfft, whatever, Dad sucked. Side note, Milo might have been the one who killed his father. <laughs> I totally did kill him. What? Get off my back, Mom! Fine, but just know that you're letting down all your little brothers and sisters, especially Bobby Sue. Even though he was a murderous, sullen teen, Milo did have a soft spot for his younger sister, Bobby Sue. You just have to go and be with Santa, Milo. Do it for all the other candy canes that don't feel normal like you. <laughs> Okay, Bobby Sue, I'll go meet with Santa, so I can kill him. What? Uh, uh, nothing. I thought you said you wanted to kill Santa. Uh, no, I said I wanted to bill him for wasting my time and sending that letter so slowly. That doesn't make any sense. Gotta go! Man, it's gonna be so awesome when I kill Santa. Somebody help me! Oh, 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 oh! Santa! Yeah, that little bitch owed me poker money. Pretty freaking cool, huh? Yeah. No, I'll never get to kill him. No! So vote for the candy cane so he can defeat the pink donut. And then kill Santa, I guess. This is fucking weird, right? The city. Night. Crime. We need to hurry, bro. I'm not sure about this, man. I'm scared. Don't be a pastry. This is the easiest score of all time. But what if he's out tonight? Relax, he's not even real. He's just a scary story parents tell that. Please don't kill us! What the hell are you? How did you become this crime-fighting monster? It's okay, son. Don't worry about getting freaked out in that movie. That stuff can be pretty scary.
We love you anyway, even though you're a total pussy. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Let's take a shortcut through this even scarier alleyway. Okay. That sounds like a great idea. You sure about that? Give me all your frosting. Oh, God! I can't! It's stuck on me! It doesn't come off! Please, don't hurt my mom! Or what, little kid? What are you gonna do about it, huh? Huh? I'll grow up and rid the city of crime and kill all criminals like you! But not today, right? No. Probably not. <laughs> no! That's a very sad story, mate. But you don't have to kill us, mister! We'll never do crime again! Too late, punk. I made a promise to my bloody dead mother to stop all the violence on the streets. And I won't stop killing until I find the donut that started it all. Help the chocolate bar donut get revenge before he kills us all.